Peace, love, and light to you, my Virgos. Welcome to my channel. I'm Butterfly Tarot, and it is out of Butterfly. <clears throat> my Virgo singles, I'm here to give you your love reading for September 2020. Remember, it's a general love reading, so th some things may resonate while others may not. This may be the cross watcher story. This very well not, may not be your story at all. If you're new to my channel or if you're joining me once again, thank you for your love and support. And if you like the content on the channel, like, I'm sure, and subscribe. Uh, you don't have to, you know, comment, but you can, if this resonates with you, you can. And subscribe to your girl, hit that notification bell so you'll get updates for whenever I upload new content to my channel. You know what I'm saying? Watch your girl. Alright, let's go on up into this reading. It's going to be a Celtic cross spread. We're going to get into what's going on with you and, and who's after you or who you might be thinking of. We'll just let Tarot tell us what, what's going on, okay? So I'm going to be doing this from the perspective of the person that's thinking about you or you may be thinking about them. We'll see. Ace of Cups. Ooh, new beginning in love. Ooh, this might be some new love. Some new, new, new love. Let me stop. <laughs> this might be some new love, my dear Virgos. Ooh. Or somebody got a cup of love for you. Oh, I got a cup of love for you. Somebody may want a new beginning in love or if they just love you so much. We shall see, my dear Virgos. First card out. Two of Wands. Okay, do they the, the deciding? Do I decide between the world that I know or making a decision between the world that they know and to go into the unknown at a crossroads trying to figure out which way to go? Should I go with what I know or what I don't know? Should I st and this could be deciding between two relationships. Should I stay with this relationship I've been with for a long time? And that I've invested in, <clears throat> or am I ready to strike it out and go into the unknown where I don't know where that road will lead me? Okay, so what is the crossing energy for this two of wands? The five of cups, okay. So it's saying that it's in reverse. So this person either wants to let things be bygones be bygones, meaning moving on with their life from a disappointment in a relationship and just picking up and moving on, or it could mean that this person wants a reconciliation, okay? So what is the underlying factors for these top two energies? page of pentacles in the reverse all right it, it's saying that the person you're dealing with uh i'm looking at this page as uh they want to reach out to you they want to communicate with you they want to offer this new pinnacle but there might be some blockages going on that there's a lack of communication a lack of um a forward movement so this person is trying they they would like to, they would like a new go a new um a start they would like to start something with you or restart something with you but you may have them blocked to where they can't communicate with you but also the page of pentacles in reverse can also mean that the person that you're thinking of or dealing with um this person is a very needy type of person and that this person they want somebody who's both going to emotionally and financially take care of them because on the inside, they're like really vulnerable. They're very immature and um, much childlike, childlike on the inside that they're looking more so for a mother figure than a mate. But you would know best. Okay. 
So let's look at the past energy concerning this situation. What's in the past energy? The Sun card. Hmm, that's weird. So in the past, it looks like in the past you guys had a successful relationship. All your your needs were being met. Everybody was happy. So okay, now let's calm it down. So it's saying that um, the overall energy is the Ace of Cups. Oh, so it's saying that you made this person very happy in the past, and something happened to the where there was a separation. Something happened where you guys went your own separate ways. And now this person, they want to make their way back to you. And maybe it is because you they you took care of them. Mm. You took care of them. You were a nurturing person who took care of them. That's Virgo energy anyway, Earth sign. You had a... It was... A healing quality. Now, how could something so good go so bad? What are the kind of thoughts for the person that is thinking of my dear Virgos and vice versa? What I tell you, this person, you got the Knight of Pentacles, slowly but surely, this person is devising a plan, devising a plan to slowly but surely make their way back to you, okay, to bring you something grounded and stable, huh, Five of Pentacles, because they ghosted you, they're probably, they're thinking about either they ghosted you or you ghosted them, something happened, like, Hmm, one more. I want one more. Dinosaurs. Oh my gosh, that's why. Got you. Aha. Uh -huh. Four of Pentacles in reverse. So what had happened was, now I see it. So this person, they did you wrong, okay? They know that they left you out in the cold. They know they ghosted you. This person wants to make their way back to you. Only thing is, is that they don't know if you're going to accept them back into your life because they know that they caused you much anguish. Okay? This person's thinking about what they did to you. They want to come back to you. Okay? But with this five of cup, oh not five of cup, uh, five of pentacles, this nine of swords, and this four of pentacles in reverse, it's saying that this person know that they put you through some stuff, okay? And that, you know, you probably finally let this go and moved on from them. So that's why we have the Five of Cups in reverse, the Two of Wands, the, the Page of Pentacles, the Sun card in the past energy, and the Ace of Cups. So it's telling me that you thought your relationship was all good in the hood, okay? You thought everything was going well, swell, fine, and dandy. And this person, abruptly, they, they broke your heart. They broke your heart. And just left you high and dry, not giving you a reason to why they did what they did. They just bounced on you. They left, okay? So now this person is thinking back on their life and how they hurt you. And they can't stop thinking about this, okay? And now, it's they, for whatever reason, uh, this person wants to make the decision to try to come back and reconcile with you within this relationship. And most likely, the reason why they want to reconcile you, I just, you should look at Cancer's, um, Cancer's reading, uh, I'm not Cancer, Leo, Leo's reading is like very similar that this person wants somebody, they want your love, they want your nurturing, they want your care. 
you know, they realize now with this sun and card in the reverse, I'm not reverse, in the past energy, is saying that with all that I'm seeing here is that this person, they realize now how much you took care of them, how much you were, you know, there for them, that you were like a, a mothering energy to them. And they disappointed you and they hurt it. They, they hurt it, goodness. And they hurt you. Okay? So now this person, they are, they can't stop thinking about what they've done to you. Okay? They know that they hurt you. They know that they caused you mental anguish. And they feel as though that what they have done to you has pushed you to the limits to where you no longer care for them. That you are releasing them. That's that four pentacles in a reverse. So with the knight of Pentacles is saying that this person would like to try to strategize to make a way back to you. They want to come in and when they come in, they want to come out of the cold. They want to offer you stability because what they did to you, they feel real fucked up about what they did to you and it's bothering them. So they ghost to you, they hurt your heart, they hurt your feelings, and now they they have made this decision that they want to put the past in the past and they would like to come forward because they realize that you were their happiness, you were their son, okay? So what is about to happen? The nine, uh, the, the six of wands. Triumph and victory, okay? Coming back seeking recognition, but it's a shortly lived recognition. Look, you got the sun on the daggone flag in the background. To get acknowledgement, to have the sun shine upon you for just a moment, just a while. Okay? So this person is planning on coming back to you. Okay? And it looks like this that they will, that you are going to give them some attention. You are going to give them some of your time. Why is the six of wands here? five of wands so this is not going to be something that will happen without conflict this could talk about um that there's competition involved it can talk about internal conflict but it also can talk about that they may come back and you may give them the time of day and give them some some airplay but it's not going to come without this conflict because you know this person puts you through something obviously why is this five of wands here? The nine of wands. You got. You must be dealing with a fire sign. Cause you either a fire sign or you dealing with the earth sign. Cause you got all this fire in this earth. So you got the nine of wands. Like in spite of the conflict, this person's not giving up on you. In, in spite of all that conflict, they are not giving up. They coming back. They coming back cause they got the cup of love for you. Huh, whatever it is that they did to, to fuck over your heart, they know that they messed up and they realize that they are wrong. And now they want to just come back. They want to come back and try it again. I'm tired of this, baby. Can we try again? What is it that this person that Virgo is dealing with? What is it that they are thinking? Ace of Swords in reverse. A lack of clarity. A lack of, of truth. Somebody is lying. Maybe they are afraid to speak the truth. Because to speak the truth is to allow oneself to be vulnerable. Like, hey, if they want to fix it, they got to come correct. Am I not right? Right. So, how do others see you? Those who are attached to you and them and know of your situation, whatever the case. Strength card. It's going to take a lot of strength. It's going to take a miracle. Yes, it's going to take a miracle. Do you let me dance with you? Oh, let me stop. <laughs> I'm about to break into some old school songs. Old, old school songs. So, um, what is it that this person truly wishes for concerning you? I hope I didn't drop a card on the floor. Let me check. If I did, I did. I dropped the card. Oh my gosh, I 
and I believe I got the card. And it was the Ten of Cups. This person wishes for the Ten of Cups. Success. Wish fulfillment for everybody. Happiness, joy, bliss. Success. So this person wants success with you. Now what's going to be the outcome for my dear Vivgios? Vivgios. What's going to be the outcome for science reading? Eight of Swords. Ugh, why is that Eight of Swords there? The lovers in the reverse. One more. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is what's happening. Alrighty. That this person is going to feel trapped because you may not be open to letting them back into your life. Which sends this person back into the Nine of Pentacles. In the reverse, it's saying this person does not want to be without you, but you are not going to accept them back. So they are going to be trapped in limbo. You are making a decision to keep your guard up to keep this person out of your energy. Okay, so that's what it looks like. But remember, it's totally up to you, my dear bad girls, my dear girls. Uh -huh. So this person goes to you, left you on the cold, had you in a situation that you did not want to be in. And now this person, how the heck does it? What's in the mix of my cards? Even with that popping, I was talking about dissatisfaction, being displeased, rejecting an offer. Choose your battles in reverse. Give and receive in the reverse. Sacral chakra. Chakra chakra. Nurture. One more. Well deserved rewards. So it's talking about being happy on your own. Being single. Um, not being open to uh, receiving a mate right now. And also it's talking about protecting yourself. The sacral chakra or chakra. Chakra chakra. Doesn't matter. Um. That is talking about when I see this card come up and I got the daggone Empress here, the nurture card. I'm telling you, you better be careful because you might end up with, with a, a bun in the oven doing that months, okay? With those two cards together. Um, but it also is talking about nurturing yourself and also not giving your energy to the situation and deciding that you are okay you're perfectly fine with still being single as you are until something comes along so whatever this person did to you have it where well, they obviously ghosted you and left you all messed up so it's saying that your walls are up high and you just you're not trying to become vulnerable to this person right now okay in spite of what this person is wishing and in spite of them wanting the new beginning with you you got your walls up What I got here, I got. Oh, well, I had. I don't, I don't even read reverses on this, but I said this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you see. I, I, it was in the reverse, and I wonder if all these are. They were all in the reverse. So, uh, it may be this person, or maybe somebody else that you already got your eyeball on. It doesn't have to be this person, okay? It means it could be telling you, hey, you already got the one you need. You don't need to go back to this. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean that it's this person we're talking about right here. It could mean that you've already found the one you're looking for. And this is Johnny come lately trying to get back into your energy. And you done moved on. That's maybe the reason why that Queen of Swords is there. Like, I, I already moved on. Sorry, no bygones be bygones. We still cool. See you at the family reunion. All right. Engage in your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. That's not this person. 
soulmate. Yes, this is uh, your soulmate. You are already moved, wedding. Oh my gosh, this situation involves marriage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> give your room, <laughs> give your relationship a chance. Work on your relationship. Virgo, you're not giving this person a chance because you've already found the one that you're looking for. Johnny come lately is just late. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. So that's why you're not giving your energy to this other situation. And even with the Nine of Pentacles, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are single. It can mean that you have, over, you are working on yourself. You're building your business. You're building your craft. You're putting your energy into yourself. And how you might have a bun in the oven and a baby on the way um, from your, your love interest, okay? Because it's saying that this person that it's trying to pop and lock and maneuver their, their way back into your life. It's not going to work. You moved on. They want you back, but you moved on. And though you may not be, you may be dating somebody else right now, but that shit's about to be on the popping. Okay? It's about to be on the popping, meaning that the relationship is going to accelerate. And you're going to get what it is that you want out of a relationship. So, I wish you all the best, my dear Virgos. Okay? Now it's time to get off this roller coaster ride of a reading. I will see you all in the next reading. I truly love and appreciate each and every one of you for tapping in and tuning in with your sis from the, the mess and supporting your girl. Like, go share, subscribe, hit that notification button. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. I have to go. As always, peace, love, and light to you all. Thank you for joining me. Peace and so much love. I'll see you next reading. Goodbye.